God is cleaning you up, period. God is cleaning your mind. God is cleaning your body. God is cleaning your soul. If this gave you goosebumps, if you feel instantaneously like this is my message, what I'm about to hear relates to me and my situation, comment below, God is cleaning me up. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. The number three could be significant. That could be your uh, spiritual path number. You could be seeing 333 or you could be 33 years old, okay? Welcome guys to my channel here. I am Maji the High Priestess and I, honey, spill the tea. The tea is going to be the truth, okay? Any universal truth that you need to know regarding your life, regarding your ancestors, regarding your life purpose, regarding your past life, all types of information will be delivered here. For exclusive tea, please join me on my Patreon. The link is in the description box, okay? If any of these messages that I deliver happen to resonate with you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, my love. Hit that notification bell so you can get the tea like magic, A-A-S-A-P, as soon as I upload, okay? And if the message doesn't happen to resonate, I have literally so many other readings that you can check out, or maybe this is a reading that you can share with somebody else. But um, welcome, okay? Especially, I'm hearing somebody's gonna watch me today, and this is gonna be your first tarot reading ever. Um, that's dope, because the way I do readings is very different than when you go to the regular psychics in the streets. So, um no shade onto them i'm just saying you know maybe you had a bad experience here's we do things different here okay there's a lot of love light and entertainment over here so god is cleaning you up god is restoring your mind body and soul but god is cleaning you up now with spring coming and all this beautiful energy of resurrection of everything blooming and blossoming and this harvest season approaching you might be feeling uh guided intuitively to cleanse your home to change your diet maybe some of you guys just joined a new class let me know in the comments below i feeling i'm channeling somebody like joining a dance class i'm getting hip-hop class maybe you want to learn like uh flamenco or bachata okay i'm also getting yoga class uh, maybe you just joined the gym know that whatever changes are happening around you this is god okay this is the universe you can call it god you can call it universe you can call it energy everything is just a label here my love but we're all at the same time it's gonna it's gonna mean the same thing this is a channel where you literally just get to be yourself nobody's judging you as long as you're bringing in that love and light back so these are the cards that i was before uh you know off camera that i was channeling so I'm going to go ahead and read what I have here. And then I have several other tarots that I'm going to be using. Okay, so you could be seeing the number 15, 15, 17, 17. I'm hearing you're a star. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, I'm getting, you could be born on March 7th. Okay, comment below. I am a star. I'm picking up Aquarius energy. So you could be an Aquarius. But I'm getting, I'm getting like a diamond in the rough. Okay. You know those Cinderella stories where like, uh, you know, she's so like, she's like a peasant, she's poor, she barely even has like nice shoes or a nice dress. She's always dirty because she's always cleaning up. I'm hearing like God is, God's about to give a complete glow up in your life where he's going to clean you up in that way too. I'm just getting like, you're going from rags to riches, honey, comment that down below. You're going from zero to 100 real quick, from rags to riches that's what's going on it's like god is changing your garments the way that you're going to dress god's changing your hair i'm getting like if you're somebody that's meant to be famous or you're somebody that's meant to be in the public eye god is going to give you a whole team right of makeup stylist hair stylist um you know like fashion stylist and they're going to have a complete makeover that's what i'm feeling like you're going to have a complete makeover and your body's going to have a complete makeover as well but your spirit is going through a complete makeover and your mind is going through a complete makeover where whatever old thoughts you had about yourself you're going to start changing them and rearranging them from negative to positive okay comment below my life is going from negative to positive from nothing to everything Ooh. From nothing to everything I'm getting the color green that could be your favorite color color green is also the heart chakra and Archangel Raphael that could be somebody's name here Raphael but what I'm picking up here 
is that there's somebody currently watching you. I don't know if you know, I don't know how intuitive you are. We will be picking up on this, but I do feel like you have something very unique about you and you're being seen for it, okay? There's plenty of people recognizing something unique about you. It could be a unique voice. I'm hearing your voice is unique. Maybe you're a singer, maybe you're an artist. I'm hearing a lot of people see you as an inspiration, as a muse. They think that you're a star. You could be a star seed, definitely. You see all these stars here? You're a star seed. You feel um, like you don't belong, right? Like you, like an alien. But I'm getting that you're going to be receiving some form of news. And whatever these news are, it's big news, my love. I'm getting like, it's like serendipitous. It's so lucky. Yes, that's what I'm hearing. This is your lucky break. Okay, comment below. I manifested my lucky break. This is what's coming. But before all of this comes, guy is like, listen, I need to clean you up. I'm going to clean your friends. I'm going to clean up your circle. I'm going to clean up your life. Comment below. God, I am ready for you to clean up my life. Clean up your office. Some of you guys are going to be making new changes in your office, in your home. You're going to be guided to rearrange your furniture. Um, maybe even paint the walls a different color. You might even be drawn to wear different colors that you've never worn before or that you're not used to wearing. Like I said, you might be guided to, you know, eat more vegetables, eat more clean, drink more juices, go on like a detox, right? Let me know who I'm channeling here because this is beautiful energy. And all of this is happening, my love, because God wants to give you a new life, a new you. And there's a new you that is like, please let the old me go because I want to be reborn. I want to be a new person. You might even want to change your name, change up your hair, but your whole looks is changing. I'm changing, I'm hearing a whole wardrobe, like everything, transformation. Comment below, I am ready for this transformation. Or you can simply write the butterfly emoji. But you're gonna be receiving some form of messages. Now these messages could be spiritual. So this could be coming from your ancestors, your spirit guides. This could be coming from God, right? So pay attention to the signs. Somebody might actually call you. Okay, I'm hearing somebody's ears are ringing as I'm speaking. This is because this is a confirmation. So stay alert, check your emails, check your phones. I'm getting raised the volume on your cell phones because you're going to be calling, you're going to be getting a phone call. Maybe you already uh, applied for this opportunity or it's coming serendipitous. It might just come out of the blue, okay? But there's an incoming message coming to you, whether it's a literal message or a spiritual message, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be leading you to what's destiny, to what's meant for you, which is to shine. And I'm getting like, it's like a diamond being polished. Like you are a diamond in a rough. You've been under a lot of pressure. Now God just wants to polish you to make you shine. He's just cleaning you up, cleaning your circles, cleaning that job. Maybe you might be guided to leave that job to change something about your work. Like I said, your office, your space, your home, clean up. Okay, there's a lot of dust, spiritually, mentally, physically, all of that. Beautiful. But like I said, somebody has their eyes on you. Somebody has been observing your talents. I don't know if you are showing yourself to the world, showing your light, out in the public light. Even though I do feel, obviously, you're chosen. Comment below, I'm chosen. You're somebody chosen. And I see that because you carry a divine light. And I'm very excited about the decks that I was divinely guided to use to confirm some of these messages for you today. So somebody has their eyes on you. They're observing you. This could be somebody from heaven for some of you, for some of you, like at least one or two of you. There's a spirit guide or somebody who's recently passed away, who's watching you, who's observing you. And it's like, listen, I'm going to be there watching They've also been observing your progress. They've been observing the purge. That's what I'm getting. Some of you guys could be doing shadow work, but you're having like, you're going through a purging. Some of you guys could be throwing up a lot, okay? Some of you guys could be going through uh, a DNA upgrade that may manifest as like you having things on your body, feeling some sort of pains, okay? The transformation, remember, it's a transformation. 
So, but what I'm getting here, you see the stars here, the moon and the stars, you could be a Cancerian. See these stars and things? It's like you might be dreaming with somebody. This could be somebody in the spirit world, but you see the stars. They're observing this star. So you're the star. Comment below. Yes, Manji, I'm the star. You got the T though. I got the T, okay? They're observing you, the star. And I'm getting its yang energy. It's a masculine energy. And I don't know why I heard Aries very particular, but it doesn't have to be. This is like a boss energy, a yang energy right? So action. Somebody's about to take action, but they're watching from a distance. They could be watching you online. They could be watching you physically. I'm not sure, but they know that you are the star and I'm hearing the star of the show for some of you. But like I said, there's a new life that is getting ready to be born. Comment below. I am ready for this new life, the new you. Okay. And there's a lot of luck and serendipity. There's a lot of blessings coming your way. These are all blessings that you deserve. Comment below. I'm ready to receive the blessings. Now let's continue because I'm being drawn to this cleanup. It's not going to be easy. You know how tedious it is when you have to clean up your house and you have to clean up your kitchen, your bathroom, your living room, your room. Then you got to do laundry. Then you got to mop. Then you got to sage, you know, spiritually for my spiritual people. You know, you got to, it's not just cleansing like at a, at a physical level. Like it's not just you. You also have to take spiritual baths. Some of you guys are going to be guided to go to certain psychics, to certain shamans, to certain healers to clean up your soul, to clean up your spirit. Some of you guys might be being guided to go to therapy, to go to a counseling, okay, to go a psychologist to clean up your mind. Let me know who I'm speaking to. This is a beautiful message, but it's all because you need to purge, you need to release what's been holding you back, what's been making you, let's say, not necessarily ugly, but dimming that light in order for you to shine. Like I said, you're just being polished. Comment below, God is polishing me, polishing your skills, polishing your beauty. That's what I'm getting, a complete glow up. You're gonna start looking completely different. Now, before I go ahead and use any other Oracle cards, I do want to use my very own deck called Chosen Ones 144. And this Oracle deck is in the description box or you may visit my website, majesty.com. That's also where you can book a reading with me if you feel like you need a more personal reading, a love reading, if you have a one question or anything like that, if you're maybe needing guidance on your life purpose, you can always book a reading with me online. And for those of you that have been also booking readings with me and you're still waiting on that, thank you so much for your patience. I have not forgotten about you, okay? Angels are protecting you. There you go. The angels, remember I told you somebody might be watching you? There's angels that are giving you downloads, messages, telling you about what's to come, telling you about taking flight, about the blessings and the beauty that's coming now. But you're going to start seeing a lot of muddy water, you know, uh, metaphorically speaking, because of all these cleaning up. You're going to start seeing all that parasites, all those bugs come out of you spiritually, even your aura. Okay, somebody here might be guided to do aura cleansing, to do some Reiki. Angels are watching over you. Okay, so this deck, it's my very own Oracle deck and it's for the chosen ones. And I feel like you're chosen. Okay, this is for the chosen ones, for healers, for psychics, for those of you that maybe are not even readers, psychic readers, but you'll know because this is going to activate you. Okay, this is going to, yeah, you have a legacy, my love. You were born to be a legend, to leave a legacy here. You're faded. It's faded. Like I said, it's God is cleaning up your life in order to bring in this destiny, this fate, this miracle that, well, it's you. You're the miracle. You're what lights up a room. You're very poised and I feel like you've had to clean up a lot in order to embrace yourself, your skin, to feel comfortable in your own skin. I'm getting there's a history about that. People making you uncomfortable in your own skin, but I feel like now you're really embracing it. You're loving it. It's a brand new you that's about to be birthed or it's already taking process, but you're a light worker here. And ironically, I will be using a light worker Oracle deck. You're here to bring light. That's why you have stars surrounding you stardust okay you're here to bring light and you have a lot of angelic supports you might be seeing orbs and then we have ancient divine blood okay sage your space there we go some of you guys need to clean your air need to cleanse your auras sage your space your office your home yourself okay comment below no weapon form against me self prosper but i was picking that up go go get yourself some sage palo santo whatever works for you But 
there's something here that you're meant to leave in this in this world a very beautiful mark and you're going to accomplish it but first you have to, you you have to allow the universe you have to allow god to clean up your life to clean up yourself okay mind body soul and spirit now let's get into the tarot I'm getting fairies like you might like to do like fairy makeup or maybe you like to dress up like a fairies you believe in fairies something about magic like you're just magic magical okay facts all right so let's clarify this cleanup yeah then we'll clarify who is this person that is observing you observing your talents because i feel like this person wants to give you a platform wants to help you shine wants to clean you up as well like i said i'm hearing wardrobe you're gonna start like literally wearing the most for my feminine's divine dresses you know for my masculines you're gonna be wearing them dope clothes yeah i'm getting diamonds like you're gonna be shining in diamonds because you are a diamond yourself right so Clarify, clean up, clean it up, okay? Some of you guys need to clean it up. Yeah, especially your circle of friends or something. You have a lot of competition around you. It's like you are you might be about to have a victory or you've been having tons of victory and it's like you might be seeing 555. I'm hearing Aquarius energy again. There's conflict around your energy. That's why God needs to clean it up. Your energy is not stable because around you there's competition and jealousy. Makes sense. You're lighting up a room. You're quite intimidating. 25 could be significant. We got Libra. Lots of air energy justice. Okay, I feel like your intuition is your moral compass. And you're a very kind, beautiful soul. You're about to get some form of truth here. Once God is cleaning up, you're about to get a lot of truth. And a lot of people are about to receive karma, which was the download I got yesterday for the chosen ones. Okay, well, I was celebrating my 100K plaque right here. So go check that video out if you haven't. Look at this anxiety. It came out in reverse. So if you've been dealing with anxiety of sleepless nights, that's changing. That worrying that you're having is nonsense. There's no need to worry. But I do feel like somebody around you is worried because they feel like you're going to expose them or you're going to uncover some truth about them competing with you for the stardom. Competing with a star and it's like you always outshine them. Comment below, I outshine them. Somebody here might like Carol G because I don't know why I just heard Carol G. <clears throat> But I do feel like that's part of the things that need to be cleaned up. Right now, you might be feeling anxiety, sleepless nights, because that's the energy that's lingering around you that you need to release that needs to be cleaned up. So you're going to have balance and clarity, though. I'm also seeing a contract. Okay? Yeah, look, five of pentacles. A lot of lack. God is trying to clean your mind because maybe you tend to have a lack mind because of your past or the generational curses of lack right in your life like oh i don't have enough money i don't have enough this i don't have enough that i don't have enough friends i'm getting orphan energy here let me know if this is triggering you i'm very sorry but i gotta spread the tea here okay i gotta spill it um i'm hearing your life could have been very hard and things like that God is cleaning up your insecurity too because he needs to make you confident. Comment below, God is making me confident. I'm hearing God confident, right? Another five. Five, five, five is another number you could be seeing. You could have lost a job, a position, something with your health, lack of resources, but that's what God is cleaning up, that lack. Comment below, God is cleaning up my lack to bring you abundance, right? Taurus energy, Gemini energy, Libra, Aquarius. Let me know. We have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There we go. Like I said, God is cleaning up that lack of money, that mindset of I don't have enough or I have to save up so much because I won't have enough or I live paycheck to paycheck or I've been broke. No, it's zero to 100, right? It's from rags to riches. You come from rags. You come from the slums for some of you, right? 
you got a dope story to tell. Um, but like I said, with the Queen of Pentacles, you're holding on to a very good fortune that's coming. This opportunity, this man or masculine energy, 444, I'm hearing this person could be Jay-Z for somebody. I don't know who that's for. I just heard that for somebody. Like literally you could be a musician. Jay-Z's looking at you like you're the next artist. Comment below if that's you. Comment below. Maji, I'm the next artist. Let me know, guys. And also, if this is your new, your, your first time on my channel, I'm also an artist, a musician. Go check out my music, okay? One of them's called Often. One of them's called I Think I Love You. Both links are in the description box. Or you could just YouTube it yourself. But, um, yeah, it's there. But God's about to give you a home. If you were homeless, God's about to give you a home. Comment that down below. You're going from homeless to owning castles to owning property. You're going from having zero dollars in your savings or just a hundred dollars in your savings or barely anything in your savings or a negative account in your savings or from debt to debt free. Comment below. I'm going from debt to debt free. Like I said, from zero dollars in your savings to at least a million, bro, or more. Like at least a million for you. I'm seeing that like stability, some form of abundance or business where you're going to have success and it's just always growing. Comment below. My money's always growing. I'm telling you, your money is always growing because you're somebody not just practically, you're very intelligent. This person is looking to give you a money opportunity. So God is cleaning up your finances too, but also your beauty. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. God is cleaning up your intuition too with this black cat. God's cleaning away the witches that have done spell work on you or the warlocks. Comment below. I am curse free. God is cleaning the spells, the curses that have been placed on me to give you this, the promised land. To give you the ten of pentacles. To give you your happily ever after. You might be seeing 1010, 10, my love. This is because miracles are about to come. See the rainbows? Many blessings. Each rainbow has a color. Each color is going to be a blessing. So 10 blessings are on the way. Comment below. That's 10 blessings. That's because you're closing out a cycle. I'm getting the world card here. You're going to be celebrated. Everlasting happiness. This is everlasting happiness. This is everything you've wished and hoped for. For you and your family. Maybe you've wanted to get married, settle down for some of you. This is beautiful, but I do feel like there's this energy of God changing the way you look, the way you dress to give you this throne, to make you a queen, to make you, like I said, Cinderella, right? To make you a queen. Making you more creative, more passionate, more beautiful. Comment below. God's making me more beautiful. Inside and out. October 4th could be significant. 4-4. Four, four. April 4th could be significant, Okay. Now, I am hearing, let's clarify this observer and then I'll switch decks. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. This observer is trying to give you, trying to help you make your dreams come true. Yeah, you might be seeing 999. Because here's another nine. And this observer here has the number four and nine. In numerology, the number nine is basically like zero. So that's four again. But yeah, 999 is like you're near closing a cycle, but God is still cleaning you up mind body spirit he's cleaning your circle he's cleaning your home comment below god is cleaning everything in my life god is cleaning my home god is cleaning my family for some of you guys god's cleaning your family you know the ace of cups to bring in this pure love this unconditional love from yourself from the people around you from people that you may not know they're strangers that love you i'm hearing or that are about to love you because you're going to leave a legacy here you already started this legacy whether you know it or you don't let me know where you guys are watching me from all right shout out to those that are watching from the bronx the bx let me know but yeah this person that's watching you sees that you love yourself they want to give you a new beginning they feel like you're an inspirational person this person might actually love you i'm hearing my song i think i love you okay so somebody here is like observing you thinking they love you that's for some of you for others of you this is a good partnership because it's going to bring you an overflow. Ooh, an overflow of abundance. Independence, okay? Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Money. Independence. Happiness. This yang might be a star. Because you see all these stars on this yang energy? This is somebody that works with stars. This is what I'm channeling. This person might be somebody that like... Um, 
goes out looking for people that have stardom, right? That have potential, that are artistic, that are talented, whatever. Um, but this person I'm getting themselves like literally no alchemy, no how to manifest. And they know how to work with stars or famous people. Or this person might actually be famous themselves. Let me know. Let me know because this sounds interesting. But I do feel like there were things in the past that were binding you, trying to disempower you. Let's continue. <laughs> so we did pick up that you're a light worker. So you're here, whatever you're going to be doing, whether it's music, whether it's whatever it is. Let me know in the comments below because this is a safe place, okay? This is a beautiful community and I'm very grateful for what we've built, okay? Um, as a light worker, you're bringing light. And what's that? You're bringing light into the darkness, right? You're illuminating everything that is dark. Six ray of devotion. Can't really show these cards like that, but we got six rays of devotion. Somebody here might be seeing a blue jay, but I'm getting like your heart is activating. It's connecting you more to your spirituality. You're finding devotion to something and look, it's, it's music or something. See, it's a musical talent. Somebody here has talents. You can't even make it up. Comment below, Magica de Tito. God hire me, who gonna fire me though? Huh? <laughs> nah. I also heard April 10th. Look at this, Anja. It's like you're an earth angel. You're a cosmic being here. Some of you guys play instruments. Like I said, you're musicians. Whatever this talent is, maybe you're writers, you're publishing books. It don't matter what you're doing, it's creative. But you, this is this is not just any talent. This is a divine talent. Comment below. I carry a divine talent. It's not a regular degula. It's a divine talent. Which is why you have angels that are protecting you. Because you have a higher calling. Okay? And this person, this masculine, could be a masculine angel that's helping you too. This person is, is seeing your divine talent. I'm hearing they're astonished. They see your devotion to God or to, to, to spirit. I'm getting you have a beautiful spirit coming below. I have a beautiful spirit. You have a divine talent. See, the Holy Spirit's there. Look, you have a divine talent. The heart transmission. Yo, y'all already know I got the T. Like, did I not start this reading saying I saw the color green, heart chakra, Archangel Raphael. Then we just saw here, I just told you with the heart, this person's touching their heart, right? This person's doing the same thing here. So when you connect to your heart, you're doing the things that you love. And if you weren't doing that in the past, you're going to do that now. God's taking you to a place where you're attracting everything in your life that is beautiful, that is positive because it's coming from your heart. It's, it's, the, it's, 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 call, it's a calling from your soul. It's what you love. And that's why it's radiating and transmitting universally to people. They can feel your love. They can feel your devotion to light. There's a heart chakra awakening here. And this activation that is happening, it's lighting up the whole world. You're lighting up the whole world. Comment below. Wow. It's You're so passionate, bro. You're so passionate about this talent it's like when you do it you feel at peace you feel connected to god you feel like you're connected to the angels you feel connected to people and it's like anytime you love or you send this love and light to the world you you have no idea how much it's transmissions everywhere and people can feel this orbs of light there you go i'm telling you you're seeing orbs you're seeing orbs. You need to close your eyes and look within yourself more. Connect to your heart. What do you love? Because there's a lot of orbs of light, whether you see them or not. And this indicates angel spirit guides around you. But I'm also hearing you have an orb of light in your hands. 
that you're about to alchemize. Let's see what else. Mm. See, there's a reason you were having nightmares. I'm getting some of you have been having nightmares or weird dreams. There's a reason for that because I'm seeing this on the top. And we already had the uh, the Nine of Swords, anguish, hopelessness, worry. And that's what God's trying to take out of you and clean up. Something was disturbing your spirit. I could definitely tell you that. But the, because your energy is raising, you're connecting to love. It's that shit can't touch you. Come and blow. They can't touch me. You're the storm, honey. You're you're a storm that's coming. They just didn't know that you were the storm. You were the storm. You're about to shake things up. Comment below. I'm about to shake things up. Yes, you are. You are the storm. And I'm also hearing God is causing a storm in your life because he needs to shake things up. Because he needs to clean things up. We have the mirrors. I see the full moon here. It's like a lot of self-reflection, right? I'm hearing people just are projecting on you as well. The father, which is that masculine energy here again. We have the healer, that's you, you're the healer, the light worker, the healer, that's what you're meant to be doing. And then we have no genosis, somebody's here is Sophia, let me know who you are, Sophia. Yeah. Somebody here has like a snake or lotus tattoo or a snake pet. You see the queen, God's about to make you a queen. And if you're a guy watching, masculine, whatever, God's about to make you a king. That's the glow up. That's the transformation. Because there's been a lot of snakes around you. Snakes also speak about purging, about shedding the old, right? The old skin to be reborn. Also, I'm getting you're going to start to look younger. I don't know. I heard somebody here lives near an ocean. Brave. See, something about your hair. You're going to be changing something about your hair or like I'm getting your hair is very sacred. Maybe you need to do more braids. Maybe you just got a haircut. picking up some more energy on that but hold on then we have the chicken and we have the skull so there's a lot of endings here and some people might have been making some sacrifices they could have been doing a beauty spell is what i'm getting that's what i was gonna say okay so if you've been experiencing some weird stuff going on with like your hair, your body, your skin, your hygiene. This is somebody attacking all these things because they're very jealous of your beauty. Comment below, my beauty is protected. But with the skull, I feel like somebody's trying to leave you bald or something, or like I'm also getting like endings, right? I'm getting like they sacrificed the chicken, I'm getting like voodoo, right? Somebody is from Virginia or their name is Virginia. But look at this vision. You're quite psychic. You already got a vision about something like this. Especially with these nightmares. You might be dreaming with bones or somebody's attacking your bones, your jaw, your teeth. I'm, some, I'm getting something like that. We have Sappho, right? Poetry, shout out to my poets. Somebody here is like a poet or something like that. You're going to publish a great book or something, but I see you're a being of love. Like I said, people see you and they just see love. I'm also getting um, that you have like a beautiful, for my feminine, like you have a beautiful, like, I don't know, a torso. Yeah, like 
beautiful, you know, upper thing here, like nice boobs. Someone's name could be Anais, but see how this, you're writing? You might be doing some automatic writing. Maybe you don't do this right now, but you're going to be guided to do some automatic writing, especially during nightmares. Like when you're having any dream, write it down, whatever you're channeling, whatever you're hearing, whatever you're feeling, whatever it is, it doesn't matter whether if it was good or bad, but I'm hearing the subconscious is trying to speak to you. And I see a pearl here. There's gems that your mind is trying to give you. Comment below. I'm ready to receive the truth. I am ready to know the truth. The truth of what? Of yourself? Of what are these messages that they're trying to tell you? Clearly, there's a lot of messages that your shadow self might be even trying to tell you. And it's hidden gems. You've endured a lot, but there's been like someone around you who's been casting spells. Anna, your name could be Anna or someone's name could be Anna. But like I said, God is changing your wardrobe, the way that you dress, your style. It's coming up again. Also something about a wedding or maybe you're going to start wearing like a lot of white um, to bring in like that pure energy. Okay. Now I'm going to use this deck. Look, I'm getting something about a father. The father keeps coming up a lot. So there's something about like uh, Aries or like a father figure maybe you're about to walk out of a father figure we'll see but there's something about that that keeps coming up here someone's father maybe this is maybe if you lost your father this person passed away i'm very sorry for your loss but also this person could be the angel that's watching over you but we'll see what this is there's a father here if you find a penny today or something like that that could be of significance for you i'm hearing Gemini energy, okay? I'm hearing there's a great fortune coming your way. Let's see what's going on. See, masculine energy, a lot of masculine male energy coming through, I'm telling you. So cages, cages, right? Restraint, restriction, prisons. You're coming out the cage missing see what i told you what i told you somebody here is literally either famous somebody famous is watching you to make you famous but i'm telling you somebody watch me right now is meant to be famous comment down below that's you i'm meant to be famous i'm famous i don't know but somebody here, like, you guys, like, literally about to change your name, make your name famous. How come below? God's about to make, make my name famous. Okay, somebody here is meant to be an influencer, somebody in the spotlight. This is your confirmation. Yeah, see, there's a rich person watching you, about to make you an offer. So, like I said, check your emails, your DMs, your phone. You see, it came out. Maji got the tea though. Yeah, I got the Maji touch. Yo, feeling when we're making love. There's a rich person that wants to make you famous, period. Okay? Period. Because you're anointed. I'm telling you. God saying you are anointed. You are chosen. Comment below. I am anointed. So like I said, in order to be anointed, what happens? You got to be cleansed. Literally, what happens during a coronation? Before a king becomes a king and a queen becomes a king, there's a coronation. Before the coronation, they got to go through a whole glow up. And their whole wardrobe is going to change. They're going to wear different garments for this occasion. So there's a special occasion coming for you. Okay? And then what happens? Then they actually get anointed with some type of oil, olive oil, whatever it is. So you're going to get anointed like that. Right? All that energy they've been sending you is going right back to sender. But see, great fortune, rich person, money's coming your way. God's about to take you out this. God's about to take you out the slums. Comment below. God's about to take me out the projects. God's about to take me out the slums. God's about to take me out the struggle. I'm telling you, that's what I'm telling you right now. Police. Okay, listen, I got to download, y'all. Let me know who this going to resonate with. 
if you know, you know. Somebody that did some dirty work on you, whether it was spell work, whatever it is, whatever they did that was bad, God did not like it because you're chosen because you're anointed. And it did something that this had to do with your legacy that they try to block or whatever. This person's about it. This, they're about to uh, get um, arrested. Okay, I'm getting, they're going to they're gonna be involved in some police business. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody caught a case. This is a masculine energy. They caught a case. That's their karma. Okay, look, spilled milk. Don't cry over spilled milk. There's that saying. This I didn't even know that card was there. So something about that. Tell me more. What's this about a father? What's this father? Spirit, what's this father? This could be a father. Maybe your baby daddy or something. I don't know. But look, evil actions. This was somebody that took evil actions against you. Or your child. They're about to go to jail for something. Evil actions though. See? They're about to get karma coming below. All my enemies getting karma. That's it. That's justice. Court case. Again, something with, with a legal issue somebody's going to go through. See? Caught a case. Y'all ain't nobody got the tea. Look, I told y'all. Somebody caught a case. They should have never messed with you, Carmelo. They should have never messed with me. They're about to catch a case. I say they caught a case. They should have never messed with you. See, it came again. Caught a case. It came out again. Hidden plans. This person had hidden plans. I'm also hearing God has hidden plans for you. Family betrayal. Some of your family here, they had hidden plans. All that is about to backfire. They're about to go to jail. I'm getting somebody try to steal your identity or do something with your documents. Paranormal activity. Somebody that was doing spell work, sacrificing animals, chickens, whatever it was. This person, it's about their karma is like they're going to have paranormal activities, okay? They're, they, they're, they're freaking out. And you were right about something is what I'm getting. I'm getting somebody's about it. You're going to hear the word somebody come up to you and tell you you were right. I'm sorry you were right. Somebody tried to curse your home. But it, it, remember I said it went back to sender. Now that spirit is in their home. So they're experiencing the paranormal that they wanted you to experience. That's what I'm picking up. I'm getting like there's some hidden evidence that's going to come to light. If let's say you're dealing with a court case, some new evidence is going to come to light and it's going to help you win. Comment below. I'm, I will win this court case if you're dealing with that. But somebody's going to be booked here. Uh, jail, whatever term you, you're going to use. OK, let's see if there's anything else. This is a very selfish person. I'm hearing very selfish person. Yeah, this is somebody that wanted to destroy your marriage. See, we did see that white dress there. You might be going through a divorce. Blood. That's that's God cleansing. Like I said, that's God cleansing your mind, body, spirit, your circle, everything. God's just cleaning your life, period. We got blocking your love. Somebody here tried blocking your love, your marriage. See, you need to detox from certain family members. Maybe your, if it's not your direct family member, maybe it's this person's family or whatever you call family. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, somebody really, really hates you. They don't like you. They're wishing bad things for you. And this is a group of them that are working against you. And I'm getting it's a group of family members. They do not like you because you're anointed. Because you're chosen. Yeah, remember I said somebody's mirroring here? They're projecting on you. That's what the mirror keeps coming out. They don't know what you carry, my love. They don't know that you're chosen. But they're about to know. Comment below. They're about to know who I am. That you're chosen. They're going to know what you carry now. Because your heart is expanding. And it's awakening. And it's, it's healed. It's not even healing. It's healed. There we go. Wow. Just as I said that, we got the twin flame. See? It's healed. So now you're attracting love. Now you're calling in manifesting your twin flame your true love there's a reunion coming coming below my twin flame is coming it's your destiny to be your own boss it's your destiny to be an entrepreneur it's your destiny to be a leader there's going to be some form of awakening that's going to happen or is happening so pay attention to what's going on around you but God is cleaning up your circle because there's certain people that you need to remove yourself from. See, some of you guys, you live in a terrible environment. 
live in a terrible environment and God's about to take you out of that environment. Comment below. God's about to take me out this building. God's about to take me out this block. God's about to take me out the hood. Whatever it is, it's the environment around you. Some of you guys are about to find out you got levitation powers. Or maybe you're dreaming with this. Your mom and sisters want you stuck. See? Your mom and your own sisters want you stuck. Again, it's showing again that family jealousy. See? Jealous of your mom. Taurus energy. Yeah, I'm getting a hex. Like, they try to put a hex on you. Now that hex is just haunting them. Whatever they try to put on you. They shouldn't have done that. Okay, what else? Let's do the angel deck here. See? Angel of diet and nutrition. Like I said, for some of you, God is literally cleansing your body. He's, make, he's making sure to clean your diet, your nutrition, right? To fix that health issue. For some of you, you just had heart surgery. Pay attention to what you eat and drink, right? Angel of clearing, see? Clearing, cleaning, God's clearing away any negativity. Your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. Some of the food you've been eating has been making your mind foggy, confused, has been making you tired. The timing, the, the, the time of waiting is over. You're about to see clearly anything in your life that, that, that requires that clarity. Because there's a lot hidden. A lot has been hidden, my love. And God's about to show you what was that. You're going to start seeing with your, I'm hearing, your godly eyes. Okay. Somebody is not revealing part of their story. Trust your feelings on what others say. Yeah, you got to trust your gut because someone around you is giving you confusion and you're like, I feel something off about them. Trust yourself. God's cleaning your mind because some of you guys tend to not see that you're a star. You tend to not see that you're always like criticizing yourself, comparing yourself to other people, not really seeing your true worth. God's about to show you your true worth. Who you really are. How much you really worth. Comment below. God's about to show you my true worth. If you had doubt, God's giving you confidence. Confirmation. You know? Because I feel like you get sad sometimes. Not knowing that you're a beautiful light being. See? Sometimes you have trouble valuing yourself. But God's clearing that up for you. In order to put you on this pedestal where you feel like, yes, I do belong here. God doesn't want to put you there and you're like, I don't think I belong here. No, you're going to have that conviction. But first, God's cleaning everything first, flooding everything first to be like, you know what? You need to be a new you, a new persona, a new attitude, a new character. Oh, me? Of course, I'm the shit. I'm the best. Comment below. I'm the best. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. Okay, yes. You're also bringing in love the more you love yourself, right? angel of expression again something about your creativity god's cleaning up your bank god's cleaning up your money you're about to have finances you're about to have money you're about to touch a lot of money come below i'm about to touch a lot of money i'm coming into see honor your and give thanks for these blessings these blessings are coming in in in, in the form of money in the form of abundance then we have, oh, we got two more cards here. Angel of manifestation. So again, your dreams are coming true. Something you've been doing has paid off. Your determination, your effort. And it says, you reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. There you go. Come and blow. My wish is coming true. It's harvest season. It's your season. Connect with nature. Your, your seeds are growing. All you touch is growing right now. Okay, let's see any last messages here. Peace. God's cleaning your life to bring you peace. Because you deserve it. Okay, because you're a being of love and light. Why do you need chaos around you? You received, it says... 
Love is being brought back into your life. Self-love, all types of love is being brought back into your life. Peace, love, blessings. All that balance is being restored. Because a lot of drama was around you. You got a lot of haters around you. Mm -mm. A lot of people trying to bring this angel down, but they didn't. Clearing. Again, two cards saying, listen, I'm clearing things up for you. I'm clearing your mind, your body, your soul. I'm cleaning your energy. I'm separating your energy from the energies of others that are not for you. Comment below. I'm ready to release everything that is not mine. God's clearing those energies from you. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people are taking your peace, honey. And it's not fair. This is your season of breakthrough. Did I not tell you? You're about to punch through this. Okay? Break through this. Break through this obstacle. Break through this curse. You're about to break over anything that has been binding you. Oof, I'm getting shivers. You're about to break through these fake ass friends that try to act like they family. Nah, -uh, that try to act like, nah, -uh, no. God's about to be like, listen, I'm going to show you who your true friends are because these people do not give them access to your energy. This is so big. I need you to know. You've had so many Judas stabbed you in the back. You might not even know their faces because it's a shadow. But you have, you have traitors around you, my love. So how can this blessing come through when there's... When there's people ready to stab you in the back and take what's yours, first, God is cleaning your life, cleaning your circle, cleaning this Judas away, removing them, removing, clearing you, right? Yeah, look, somebody wants to copy your essence and it's working to steal your vibes. You got a copycat around you. These friends are copycats. God's watching these people trying to copy you, trying to do mirror spells to look like you. That's not going to work. Because nobody can look like you. Comment below. I'm one of a kind. Like even a snowflake is distinctive from every snowflake, buddy. You know how many you know how many girls wanted to look like Kim Kardashian and still do. And it's just like, bro, go be your own self. <laughs> you know they want to copy your essence. It's not just your looks, your essence. Black magic. That's what they did. Black magic on your beauty. Remember I said that on your energy. I mean, it's a compliment. They can see you're anointed. And this is all family, my love. This is all family. Like, this is close friends. These are co-workers that you tell your business to. You got to be careful who you tell your business to. Because I'm telling you, God wants to put you where? On the pedestal. God wants to anoint you and be like, my king, my queen. Let me put you on your throne. But before I give you a throne in the castle and everything you want... I need to remove all these negative people. I, I'm just going to stab you in the back and take what I gave you. Don't let these people take what God gave you. Don't let them try to take your throne. Don't let them try to take your pedestal. Don't let them try to take that beauty, that new life God is giving you. Comment below. This new life is protected. All these blessings coming are protected. You got a spirit team. You got spirit guides going to war for you, honey. They're like, touch not my anointing. All right? You got ancestors that are angry because they're seeing that there's like these voodoo. Yeah, see, that's who it is. It's a male that's doing spell work on you. Or somebody that's going to a male practitioner, witch, warlock, whatever, warlock, to, to go to, to, uh, to do spell work on you. There you go. That's why I kept feeling this father. It could be your own father for somebody, okay? Listen, it could be your own father or baby father. Take it how it resonates. I'm definitely channeling a lot and a lot of you guys watch me. If you need something specific definitely book a reading but this person is like a high priest they're doing spell your ancestors are protecting you from this person i'm also getting you may have ancestors uh, a male ancestor that's protecting you a male figure ancestors telling you all the spiritual secrets okay yeah karma because somebody's trying to transfer their karma to you comment below i send that right back to sender you're the light worker again music violins right you're the light worker honey and they're trying to dim that light but you're a force of light see excuse me you have angels and forces of light that are helping you to bring that love and peace to the world they know that you're going to bring some form of salvation and they love you yeah you're psychic here so pay attention to your intuition more than anything more than anything in the world and protect your energy Protect that precious gift and talent that you have. It's divine. It comes from God. It comes from your Holy Spirit. It comes 
from your psychic abilities. It comes from the angelic realm. You can channel like divinity. You can channel purity. You can channel the highest form of love through whatever talent is it that you do it. And that's dope, okay? Yeah, I'm hearing you got competitors, people that don't do it. If you're a tower reader, there's other tower readers that are so fake, they wish to be like you, and it's like they can't, okay? It's like they can't. You're one of a kind, okay? So I'm going to end this reading here, my loves. Um, Actually, I'm being guided to pull one more from this deck. I'm like, okay. 555 five, five again. I saw it in my third eye. God is clear, clearing up your voice, okay? So that the next time you speak, your voice won't shake or tremble. You'll speak with, with, you know, conviction. What is the last message here for my Maji gang? 44, dreams. See, the star. Your dreams are coming true. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Write them down. Because in the dream state, you're getting some secret, private information between you and God. You know what I mean? Somebody's name here could be Aria. You could be from Queens, New York, Persephone, right? She's coming out in the spring, out of hell. You're coming out of hell. That's what I'm getting, coming, coming below. I'm coming out of hell. You're going into, into this beautiful harvest time now. And again, beauty. Intuition, the high priestess, right? Intuition. Downloads, spiritual downloads. In your dreams. Also, somebody in particular did dream of pomegranate. Let me know who you are. See, there's a lot of spiritual attacks on you. But you've been protected from it. A lot of evil have, has tried to destroy you. I see that. Yeah, look at the snake. But you got protection. Look at the word right there. Protection. You're being protected from the snakes in the grass or anywhere in your circle. And look, you're being guided and you are the guidance for the world. You are the torch bearer. You're the light worker. Remember, you carry the torch. You work with the light and you're carrying the light at the end of this tunnel to bring hope to humanity. Wow, you are a beautiful soul and I'm so blessed to have done your reading today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch all my other readings and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.